Hi guys, so I'm going to read Tales to Astonish number 47. So Tales to Astonish, starring Ant-Man and the Wasp, Super Fantasy in the Marvel Manor, Music to Scream By. Where can the Wasp be? If ever I needed her, I need her now. Featuring Trago, one of the strangest villains of all time. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Music to Scream By, featuring Trago, the man with the magic trumpet. That macabre music, it's piercing my brain, stealing my senses away. Trago, he'll enslave the world with his trumpet, and there's no way to stop him. It's creating horrible images inside my brain. I, I can't stand it. Ant-Man... Help! Help me before I go screaming mad! It is said that music hath charms to soothe the savage beast. But the musician known to the jazz world as Trago found a new kind of music and turned his trumpet into the pipes of Pan. Notes issued from his brass instrument that came from the zone of madness. Sound that enslaved the brain and brought a whole city under his control. The beginning of a comp composition to loot the world. The start of a serenade of pillage. A symphony of crime. How could Ant-Man and the Wasp fight waves of sound that stole away their senses and hurled them into a bottomless pit of musical nightmare? Story plot, Stan Lee. Script, H.E. Huntley. Art, John Heck. In a swank suite in one of the city's finest hotels, Ant-Man and the Wasp battle against Raymond Thies, an internationally wanted criminal. It's Ant-Man! Get him! Hurry! It's like shooting the head of a pin! Put that pop gun away, mister! Boyfriends are hard to replace! Yo! A few minutes later. Now let's untie Mr. Nerandu and he can telephone the police. Wasp, don't you hear me? Oh, she's looking at the diamond. Just like a woman. The Star of Ghana. Largest precious gem in the world. It's beautiful. Tell me, Jan. What do females find so doggone fascinating about jewelry? If only you'd buy me some, Big Daddy. I'd be happy to explain it to you. Accept my gratitude, my tiny friends, for recovering my gem. Even though India, my native land, is known for strange mysteries and occult powers, I have not the skill to defeat those thieves by myself. But aren't all these so-called Indian magic tricks, like climbing a rope to nowhere, just phony stunts to impress tourists? Perhaps some are, my little winged friend. But in India, there is one man, Gazandi, whose magic power is more than just skillful trickery. He can truly hypnotize cobras with his music, and it is said that he can play notes which can, will also hypnotize humans. But this he is afraid to do, for if he plays the wrong note, it will affect him also, and will make Ganzandi lose his mystic power. Well, it's an interesting story anyway. Now I will call the police, and thank you once again for saving the Star of Gamma. And it is time for us to go. Kor, to me, winged Kor. Kor, the winged ant, flies to Ant-Man. A few moments later, the two crime fighters wing their way through the city toward home. Ant-Man, listen to that horn. Oh, do I love good jazz. How about us going in to listen to Trago and his magic trumpet? Jan, I don't care for jazz. Anyway, we've got more important things to do. Forget it, kid. Ah, uh, come on, Hank. 
Break down and be human for once. The world won't come to an end if we relax for a few minutes. Okay, okay. I'm just putty in the hands of a girl. We'll go home and change. Then we'll come back here. An hour later, Ant-Man and the Wasp had become Henry Pym, scientist, and Janet Van Dyne, lovely young socialite. He's no Count Basie, but he's good. His technique is similar to Wild Bill Dol Donovan's. Whoever they are. Then, when the musicians take ten... Well, I'm glad that's over. Had enough? Oh, sit down, you big handsome square. There'll be lots more music. Say, what's that? Sounds like a struggle. Come on, Janet. Oh, no. Not on our night off. Maybe it's just mice. My cash box, you crook. Trigo, you pretty crook. Give it to me. Let go, you fool. Honey, those aren't mice. He stole my cash box. Ran through that door and locked it behind him. He'll be out the alley and away before we can get him. Help, police! Quick, Jan. Follow me into the hall. Here are my reducing and enlarging gas cylinders. I always keep them with me. You still have your wasp uniform under your clothes, I hope. Sure. I just wouldn't feel dressed without it. A slight hiss. And the reducing gas is released. And Henry Pym and Janet Van Dyne shink, shrink rapidly to Ant-Man and the Wasp. Only seconds have elapsed since the robbery, as Ant-Man rushes under the jam of the locked door into the alley, while the wasp flies swiftly through the keyhole. There he is! Sting his ankle! Hurry, wasp! You can stop him! Huh? <sighs> A woman's work is never done! Oh! <laughs> Listen! The manager is breaking the, down the door! No need to rush. Trago won't be going anywhere now. Ah, uh, there you are. Didn't get away with it, did you, Trago? Why, Trago? Why would you do this to me? Uh, I don't know, Mr. Crossgrove. I saw the safe open. And the money. And I don't earn much with my trumpet. So it seemed like easy dough. You musicians, you're all lunkheads. Well, there's no real harm done now that I've got my money back. Come into my office. Trago, I'm not going to press charges. I'm going to get you a ticket on the first plane out of the country because of our friendship. Just don't come back, you hear? I'll take the cost of the ticket out of the wages I owe you. Okay by me. Hello? You say your next plane leaves for New Delhi, India? That's good enough. Reserve one seat in the name of Trago. He'll be right there. Well, I guess that's the last we'll hear of the man with the magic trumpet. Let's go. Ah, and he played such a mellow horn. No, Ant-Man. You are very wrong. This is but the beginning. A prologue to the story of Trago, the man with the magic trumpet. Your lives are inextricably bound together in the web of fate, and the future will bring action and danger such as you have never dreamed of. We pick up the trail of Trago again in a hut outside of New Delhi two months later. You have been very ill. Fever. Starvation. I found you almost dead. My name is Gazandi, a mystic and scholar of ancient phenomena. Thanks, Dad. For, yes, I don't I don't know if that if that's a mistake or when he's calling him Dad. Or if um that's like just ling like um beat kind of beatnik lingo from back then. You can let me know in the comments uh, 
about that, but I, I'm not sure. But Thanks, Dad, for helping me. I couldn't find work. I was starving. I play, too. Say, is it true that you cats can charm snakes and things like that with music? Yes, Gazandi has the power. You think you know how to play that trumpet, my friend? Ah, there are notes, passages, that you have never even imagined. If that's true, then teach me. Man, I want to swing. I want to be the top horn, man. You're not kidding about playing notes. No one else can, are you? I know many things. I know from your mind that you stole and thought you saw tiny human figures, no bigger than an ant and a wasp. You did see them. There are many strange things that are possible. I have never before had a student. But if it is written in the stars that I should be your teacher, we will begin. Time passes, and Trago learns many things. Good. You have mastered the notes that hypnotize the King Cobra. I have taught you also the heart of in hypnotism, using your eyes as the power medium. If music can hypnotize a reptile, why can't it hypnotize humans? Gazandi, tell me. I want to know. There is a great danger involved, but you are my disciple. I will teach you. The months fly by, and then, returning from helping the police, Ant-Man and the Wasp are reminded of... Remember Trago? The man with the magic trumpet? Wonder if he's still in India. Certainly I remember. It was one of the few times I got you into a nightclub. He was a cool brass man, but you just didn't dig him. No, Trago is not still in India. For at that moment, in a small nightclub in Connecticut, off the Merritt Parkway, Trago, his appearance altered, is playing with a small combo. So I should have said did this at the beginning, but it's like do 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 Go man, go! Now's the time to test my powers. First, I must reinforce hypnotic bonds with which I hold my musicians enslaved, so they will not be affected. Look deep, deep. You will do only as my will commands. You will hear nothing but the sounds of your own instruments. Now, we will play. The music wails, slurring, jumping, sultry southern jazz. Then from Trego's blaring trumpet, New notes form. Notes no human has ever heard before. Harry, I, I feel strange. I think I'm gonna faint. My head. My brain's whirling. The music goes on and on. So do 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 Some notes unheard by the ear, but heard by the subconscious. Then, fantasy comes. Miasmic images in the mind, formed by the musical hypnosis, as the startling strains fill the room. <coughs> Trago raises his hand. The music stops. The audience is motionless, helpless, completely under Trago's spell. Now, pass among the audience and I take their valuable. I command you. Moments later. Ha, it worked. The test has been a complete success. But this is not worth bothering about. A handful of jewels and bills. Return those baubles. Each piece to its rightful owner. Now I'll break the hypnosis. And they won't even know that time has elapsed. And anything has happened. Then, on to New York, and the big prize. I'll contact a TV station director, using my hypnotic powers to get my little combo a broadcasting spot. 
then, once my music is beamed out over the airways, everyone hearing it will be hypnotized. I'll hypnotize an entire city and loot it at will. A few days later, in the lab of Henry Pym, as the scientist uses his fantastic cybernetic machine to receive electronic impulse messages from the vast army of ants, while the wasp listens to a local radio station. And now, friends, we present the Maharaja of Jazz, Trago and his magic trumpet. Trago? The ants report that all is quiet in the city. Henry, come here. Listen to this. It's Trago. Remember him? Then suddenly, as the music starts, Henry, what? what's happening? My ears, my brain, Jan. It's the music. Quick, we must reduce our size. You've got to turn off the radio. Got to. The reducing gas swirls around them as they shrink with incredible rapidity. Can't do it! This music! It's too powerful! Can't resist it! Need help! Fast! I'll contact my faithful core. Core! To me, core! The discordant music wails on bringing hypnosis, bringing nightmare to the minds of two tiny, unconscious figures. Then, a tiny form appears at the window. It is Kor. Kor, the faithful, has heard the call and answered. He sees with many faceted eyes, and he understands. His antenna quiver as he sends a call for help. And so they come, the ants, swarming to Kor's signal, and they carry the helpless and sized humans away while Trego plays. Do, 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 do. And throughout the city, people are frozen in a hypnotic trance. But Trego has not forgotten the two tiny humans he once saw, who foiled his earlier attempt at robbery and his horn sends a message to the reptiles in the gardens and fields. Find that man. Capture him. Then Trago's eyes send the message to his hypnotized musicians. Hear me. Hear my mental commands. Find those banks in the city where my music is reached. And loot them. Now go! Meanwhile... Kor carries his ant-sized human friends deep into the middle of a huge ant hill where the hypnotic blare of Trago's trumpet cannot reach. Then Ant-Man stirs free from the mad symphony but still numbed by the terrible mental pressure. Suddenly, the ants begin to sway to move backwards. Wasp, wake up! I remember something. Something Naradu once said. Silently, a form slithers toward them. <laughs> Only a small garden snake, but a gigantic menace to the tiny humans. Ant-Man and the Wasp try to rise to fight the deadly danger, but they are still too weak. The army of ants form for battle. But they will be too late to save Ant-Man and the Wasp. This core knows, as he attacks first. I forgot my gas containers. The reducing gas. Use it, Wasp. The hissing snake strikes at core, and in that second the Wasp aims and releases a stream of reducing gas. But too late to save the fateful ant. The danger is over. It will become small as a worm and the ants will take care of it. But poor Kor. He is beyond help. Well, come on. Tighten your ear discs to blot out Trago's notes. Only use your antenna. 
You said something about Nerado. Astride the flying ant, Foss, brother of the fateful core, Atman departs with the wasp. Wearing my cybernetic helmet cuts off the effect of Trago's music. What station was that you tuned in on, Jan? Because that's where we're headed. But what will we do now? Remember, Trago went to India, and Naredo told us about an Indian mystic who could hypnotize men, as well as snakes with his music. Trago must have learned the art from him. Look at the people, frozen, hypnotized, and their faces mirroring their shock. Here's the broadcasting station. Those three men emerging aren't hypnotized. That means... Wait, I'm getting a message from the ants in the studio about Trago. Those three mus are Trago's musicians. He has them under his spell and has sent them out to rob and loot. Wasp, stop them. Drive them back into the studio. The wasp buzzes rapidly from one of the hypnotized musicians to the other, stinging them, and with her sting, hurting them like sheep. As that man enters the studio, Now I'll use my enlarging gas again. Once I get my hands on Trago, he'll never play another hypnotic note. I, I forgot! I don't have my gas tubes! I'll have to battle Trago while I'm anti somehow. And... At that instant, Trago sees that man. He saw me. He's trying to get me. Have to move fast. I've been lucky so far, but I can't evade him much longer. Wait. I remember now what it was Narando said. If the Indian mystic played the wrong notes... He himself would be affected. It must be the same with Trago. I've got to get inside his trumpet. <coughs> Trago must have changed or altered the playing mechanism of the trumpet to produce his hypnotic music. If I can somehow alter the tone. Inside the trumpet, wind and music beat as Ant-Man, like a tornado as he struggles to hold his balance on the shiny, slippery brass. Then, Henry Pym's army of ants attack, crawling up the legs of the mad trumpeter, advancing until they reach his face. For a moment, he stops blowing, swipes at the crawling, itching horde of insects on his face, and, in that instant, Atman rushes up the inside of the trumpet, lassoing the plunger and pulling back with all his might. Luckily, my reducing gas doesn't reduce my full-grown strength as well as my size. Ah, it's bending. Suddenly, Trigo can no longer play the hypnotic notes. Discord blares from the horn as Trigo, in panic, plays a series of notes he has never played before. I heard of those three into the audition booth and locked the door. Good work, Jan. Now keep your eyes on Trago. Those notes he hit by chance were the ones God Anzi had warned him about. Notes that affected the player, changing his character, his mentality, stealing away his power. What am I doing here? I, I feel as though I've been asleep for ages. And now I'm being reborn. Don't remember anything since I got my first job playing the horn. Throughout the city, people stir, move, continue on their various ways, not remembering the hypnosis, the nightmare that had descended on New York. That wraps up the Trago caper up. We stopped him before he actually committed any crime. 
and no one, including Trago, will remember what happened. No one. But Jan and I, and the ants. Several weeks later, at a local bistro, do, 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 do. Trago's happy now. He doesn't remember the past. But he's doing what he loves best. Playing the trumpet. Yes, he's just another jazz trumpeter. You hear them every day, and never quite remember them. Leaving so soon? But I thought you were getting to like jazz. I am, Jan. But I'd like to go someplace where it's quiet. I suppose you'll think I'm corny. Just a sentimental fool. But I'm thinking of Cor. He was only an ant, but... I know, Henry. I know how you feel. A greater love hath no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. And that's the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be appreciated. Uh, sorry, the Indian names, I was mispronouncing them. Sorry about that. I was kind of rushing a bit, so I'm sorry about that. But um, if you guys have any requests you want me to do, just... Let me know down in the comments and I'll uh, tell you when I can get them done. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys later.